Alright guys, here's another Minecraft video of some of the things I built or helped with. And before anyone asks, yes my SGC project is coming along very well. But this is just a sidetrack thing that I've been doing. I'm going to be showing a house that me and a friend made. And a railway station that I happened to make too. Because I got bored. So we're going to start off in the chest room here. This is the chest room as you can clearly tell. This is our basement for our house. Now the interesting about, thing about our house is it uses a combination lock system. Now I have already punched in the lock for the door. When I step on there it would open the door. But if you do not have the right combination, the door will not open. So no one can break into our house, which is very nice. As you can tell we got the kitchens, living rooms, and everything. Now the one thing that we haven't finished yet is the upstairs to our house. As you can tell, there's nothing on the second floor yet. We kind of got bored, but we did make a lovely garden up top stairs. And I actually love this garden. It is good for getting crops and whatnot, as you can see. Now keep in mind that none of this is spawned. All of this has been done legitly even though it is multiplayer. So that's why we have a lot of chests down there because, well, we collect a lot of stuff. What we originally started with was dirt huts, uh, yeah, dirt huts around this whole place. And then we upgrade it to wood, as you can tell. And then these houses are going to be for sale to anyone who wants to buy them. They're just little camping huts for the mines. Which I've added a glass elevator for. This will be floor one. Nothing too special here. Just a basic strip mine. Same thing for floor two. And we did get a lot of resources from this. But there's also a lot of gravel. And this one is a little more advanced. Kind of. It went out more and yeah, just more resources. And then we'll continue down when we are done getting whatever we can out of this one. And now I'm going to be showing the minecart system. If none of these mingers messed it up. So for this to work, as you can tell, when I sit on here there is a pressure plate under it, the stone one, so only when I sit on there, it will call that one there to come here, grab a card from the dispenser there, which will shoot it, pick me up here and send me to that booster, which would then bring me to, oh, hold on. <laughs> and that would be the guy who I said with the house with me. He had given me lots of help. <laughs> anyway, so let's see this in practice. And he says hi YouTube. <laughs> oh, the booster stopped over there. So let me fix that. see how that one just takes its place sends me on my way and boom that goes right down the track 
this one is not more as advanced as the other system. I'll show you why. I didn't have enough space to build here orig originally because there was a giant house here, but they tore it down, so now I can improve on it. Now, another little feature that me and Bipolar there did make is this lovely cobblestone generator for the people of this little village. This is for all the new players. They start with the normal dirt huts like this where they can just set up camp and go mine materials and whatnot. But one of them has upgraded into a bookstore. And he makes bookcases. On his roof he has a bamboo garden. And the cobblestone generator works fairly well. We might update it a little bit. Then you just jump in and grab whatever you want. But my inventory seems to be full. But yeah, four of those all around. I might make a little cavern underneath that makes it fall completely down just to pick it up, but I don't know. <laughs> and people, since they realize I'm filming, are typing random shit. But I'll show you how the one over here is a little crappier compared to the other one. It works, but not to the greatest. And I have missed the cart completely. But that's okay, I'll grab the other one. I'm going to do this like on the other side. Same thing that I have on the other side set up. But yeah. And that's how that one would take that one. And now for the booster. When the cart comes in and you jump off, this booster will send it all the way around like so. Which then grabs onto this booster for the final uphill. Which then brings it to the dispenser, as you can tell. Basic thing on the other side, a little more complex, but basic scenario. And that's how you send it. But I clearly messed up. <laughs> That's why I'm going to make it a little more robust over here. A little easier to use. But the lovely side about this one is you don't have to worry about jumping out in time before you go under the thing. This one has an auto catch feature which stops you and you just get out and a cart picks it up as I show you. Just imagine we were driving in this. Now that would just go into the pressure plate, the cart would come up, boom. And it has a little backup system just in case you have more than one. And then it will come all the way up from over there and drop into the dispenser. Boom, boom, boom. Which I find it is a nice little feature. I'll show you how this one works and why it's a little bit different. As you can tell, it just grabs here, which there's a booster there. Which then, set, when I set on the wooden plate up there, it joins those tracks, which then boosts up the hill, comes around, grabs the cart. Whoosh, this one just jumps back onto the track while the cart itself goes this way with the booster again. And another booster. Followed by another booster to send up the final stretch. And boom, right into the dispenser. Anyways, that's all I have to show for now. Thanks for watching.